questions, I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away their snacks, okay? Now, Ty. Ain't no way. He ain't got enough. He doesn't have enough snacks. Because Phantom wants to take away how much? Eight. Eight. Kai only has how many? Two. Two. So what does Kai have to do? Go to the store. The fuck that they're following is crazy to me, bro. What is going on? Oh my god, bro. What Kai? Yo, can we just see the uh, Kai Sanaf Phantom and Duke Dennis life execution, bro? Please. Yeah, Chris. I feel like I'm an uncle, okay? Because the brain rot is taking over and I'm really not fun of it. I thought it was funny at the beginning and then I realized it was not funny. So I feel like I'm old enough to actually take this class. So today we're gonna take a class of every brain rot explained in eight minutes. So we're taking an eight minute class to see the definition of every brain rot and maybe, uh, maybe I just get educated, you know, because I'm old as fuck. I'm 2004 and now the internet runs by people who were born in 2015. I'm not even joking. I had a viewer that was seven years old. So like, I was <laughs> is that bad? Like, look guys, I had a viewer that was seven years old. Yeah, till today he's watching me, but like, it might, like I don't know how I feel. Like it goes same for like Kai Sanad, I show speed now. So imagine a seven years old watching I show speed, twerking, doing the most wild shit, bro. Like you know, the generation is cooked. The Sigma male phenomenon has surged in popularity, captivated by its association with independence, self-reliance, and non-conformity, offering an alternative narrative to the traditional alpha, beta, and omega male archetypes. It's a oh. kind of rebellion against the rigid hierarchy of masculinity, where alpha and beta males reign supreme. Unlike the alpha, the coined lone wolf of the digital age, a Sigma male does his thing, flies solo, and doesn't follow the pack. ASMR. Oh. So it's not that every TikTok I see they do like um I bro but 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 that doesn't make sense though. I see so many videos a guy takes a shit he's sigma. I see a guy literally walks normally he's sigma. He like bro What is going on? A, a guy sips water and they put sigma alpha male. Like what is that? Flies solo and doesn't follow the pack. ASMR ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Oh my fucking God. I didn't know that. I bet 99% of y'all didn't even know what's the real meaning of ASMR. Y'all know ASMR is this. Oh yeah, konnichiwa, senpai. Okay, well, what the fuck am I doing? Let me relax. But y'all didn't know the real definition of it is a pleasant sensation that some people experience as they respond to specific stimuli, such as soothing sounds or movements. People with this brain rot spend several hours a day obsessively consuming online AS- Okay, but like, I thought this was a joke. Like, do people actually sit down, like, watch people do ASMR? Like, do people genuinely sit down and be like, hey, hello, let's go. Today's ASMR day. Let's watch this guy put some random shit in the mic and watch it. Yeah? Don't tell me you're the one watching, Lane. SMR videos. This type of behavior can negatively affect the quality of sleep, concentration, and even personal relationships. Riz. The term Riz refers to the ability to attract attention, and it comes from the word charisma, with an unusual word formation structure. It initially emerged in youth culture and slang, quickly spreading through platforms such as TikTok yeah, and other social media. You know what's crazy? Um, I don't know if this is a flex to say, but I, it's kind of flex that I was there in the beginning of Riz. I remember with Duke Dennis and like Kai Sanet, there was a stream, they were both sitting and Kai, um, Duke called a girl, basically. It was just so whole, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a club, like basically Duke is talking to a girl and doing this and a spoken res and then all that shit started, right? And then it got to a level that it reached TikTok. So yeah, I feel like Riz was a cool, like funny shit. It wasn't because it was only on Twitch. As soon as it got out of Twitch on TikTok and shit, it got ruined. No disrespect. In 2023, the use of this term has increased significantly, peaking in June 2023, when actor Tom Holland was interviewed about his Riz. I have no Riz whatsoever. I have limited Riz. The context of the word is important. If someone has W Riz, it means that someone has lots of Riz, while L Riz ASMR is- ASMR is now weird. People make it weird. Bro, the 99% of shit I see nowadays is The opposite. Is but if someone's got an exceptional amount of Riz, you might be referred to as a Rizzler. And if you're able to charm people without even trying, people might even tell you that you have unspoken Riz. The term has gained yeah. official recognition in the linguistic world, having That's been included crazy. in the Oxford English- That's actually crazy, bro. Dictionary. Yet, 
said to be a cryptic abbreviation of goddamn. The term is usually used when observing an attractive woman, typically online. It is also used on a scale in which the lowest number refers to the absence of a- You gotta realize, like, the word res and god is coming from Kai Sanat. Should we just see live, uh, Kai Sanat live execution? Can we just have Kai Sanat live execution in New York City and Bronx where the rats are? Because he's the, he's the reason why so many kids are brain rot. Oh my fucking God, we have to react to that. Oh my Godness. Phantom taxes them, so he's coming to take away. Coming to take away their snacks. Okay? He phantom taxes them, so he's what? coming to take away. Coming to take away their snacks, okay? Now. Hi. Ain't no way. He ain't got enough. He doesn't have enough snacks. Because Phantom wants to take away how much? Eight. Eight. Kai only has how many? Two. Two. So what does Kai have to do? Go to the store. The fuck that they're following is crazy to me, bro. What is going on? Oh my god, bro. What Kai? Yo, can we just see the, uh, Kai Sanat, Phantom, and Duke Dennis life execution, bro? Please. Uh, okay, joke aside, bro. What is the teacher doing, bro? She should be fired 100%. Agree with me or no? This teacher needs to be fired, bro. The, the generation is already brain rotted and cooked, and you're making them more brain rotted by this shit? You're literally basically improving the level of brain rot. It's gonna skyrocket to more. Okay. Take 10 more. Go next door and take 10 more. But we said Duke only had packs. Packs of how many? Packs, packs of 10. Because he's but, and as the numbering increases, the maximum size of the butt itself is reached. Mewing. Not just a slang term, mewing is a practice. According to the American Association of Orthodontists, mewing is touted as a do-it-yourself facial restructuring method, where an individual presses their tongue against the roof of their mouth to create a tighter and slimmer jawline. It's predominantly used in situations where one is asked a question, particularly by a teacher or parent, and one prefer not to answer. In response, he simply say, mewing indicating, meaning, I can't answer your question right you now. You know what's crazy? I did a little bit of research. Mewing is not even real, by the way. It doesn't help you. You do not, right? So it's basically misinformation and it's just a trend. Like, mewing does not work. You can mew for years and it, it doesn't change anything. If you want to have a face with a, like, jawline, just work out. Lose the face fat and you'll have it. Because I'm mewing. I'm working on my jawline. Grimace shake. McDonald's introduced its new milkshake, sparking a viral trend on TikTok where users pretend to suffer... I love this guy, by the way. What's good, course? ...for a gruesome fate after tasting the Grimace shake. Grimace, the McDonald's mascot since 1972, has been reimagined as a demonic figure by Gen <laughs> Z. Videos of teenagers drinking the... I'm gonna be honest, surprisingly, I loved Grimace shake. You know why I loved it? I'll tell you why. I love, as a content creator, I love to see stuff that are actually someone put effort, if that makes sense. Boom. Shake you and see say it says, Happy birthday, Grimace shake, and then the next thing you see, the guys in jungle gets dragged out... And they actually put effort, you know? So that's why I fuck with it. That's Happy it. birthday Grimace, before experiencing Lovecraftian madness and purple spattered demise, mm. have garnered millions of views on TikTok. Yeah. McDonald's social media director, Guillaume Huynh, debunked rumors that McDonald's initiated the trend. Indeed, Grimace shake TikTok trend started after McDonald's launched the Grimace birthday meal Never to celebrate the it. mascot's 52nd birthday. According to him, the trend was independently what? initiated by Austin Frazier when he posted the TikTok video that made the trend go viral, only in Ohio. The trend originated from a meme on Tumblr dating back to 2016. When what? 2016? No way. Y'all gotta put some respect on Ohio meme then. Because Ohio never fall off. And I don't think Ohio will ever fall off, bro. What? User started the meme Ohio versus the world by posting this photo. Obviously, the caption ah. referred to the bus stop, but the post sparked a series of memes and trends. Now what the fuck? The post banned from... A s bro, the post started from Facebook. The post went on Facebook, then it went on uh, Vine, now it went on fucking TikTok. Holy shit. Now it turned to a brain rot. That's crazy. Nowadays, people What's create absurd fucking? images or scenarios that ironically imply that strange or bizarre events only happen in Ohio. Ohio. With the widespread only sharing of these Ohio. memes and the only current population Ohio. of Ohio, it would seem as though the entire global population <laughs> resides in the state, like 99% <laughs> of the global population. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, I wanna go to Ohio so bad, bro. Please, bro, please, just manifest that I blow up someday, like, at least make, like, two, three thousand a month from social media. Even though, nah, like, I wouldn't mind. I'll just save up my own money. I'll definitely go Ohio, bro. 
an Ohio stream would hit, bro. Imagine going on a date with an Ohio girl. That would be interesting. Obviously, this is not possible and serves as a clear demonstration of the What's challenge good, in reconciling perception with reality. Phantom tax. Phantom tax oh is an internet God. slang term describing the theft of food between friends. The first usage of phantom tax referred exclusively to <laughs> oh my streamer God. Phantom, who jokingly taxed snacks. Why, bro? No one's talking about this. All these brain rod words are coming from AMP. Bro, please, bro. I'm gonna say it again. Can we have an AMP life execution, bro? Let's get these guys in New York, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm joking, but I, I love AMP. There, Kai Sennett is literally the best streamer, bro. Don't care what you say. By taking bites of food from fellow content creators during streams on the broadcasting platform Twitch. In an interview with Wired, Phantom defined the term as, let's say your friend's having a meal. He's having a good meal and you just want a piece of that meal. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need a share. That's your friend and the friend's share, right? Get you a little piece of the meal. It's the Phantom tax. <laughs> you just go ahead and just like, let me get okay. a little bit of 5%, 10% of the meal, maybe 20%. Social media. As one scrolls through social media, there is a- Bro, this video is ass. See, that's what I'm saying. Bro, it's, it's cool, bro. It's an education, bro. You can't watch a video that's eight minutes, bro. You're a cook. Machine working You're behind the scenes, analyzing every interaction to create a detailed profile of who individuals are and what interests them. This profile okay. is then used to shape what each person sees online, influencing purchasing decisions and personal beliefs. There is nothing inherently wrong with this, as long as individuals are aware of the existence of this algorithm and can therefore approach online information with greater skepticism. It's clear that social media platforms are becoming increasingly adept at capturing attention, achieving yep. this through the clever use of content known to be irresistibly engaging, from relaxing ASMR videos to captivating Call of Duty gameplay, from pimple popping to food preparation, or yep. more like Subway Surf or Geometry. Oh yeah! Oh my God, yeah, I see what These are talking just some about. examples of what we can define as satisfying videos. So yo, I have a question chat. The reason why I can't, I barely watch is because of this. Maybe this guy, maybe The reason why these videos like work that? so well in maintaining attention is because they tap into the emotions of each individual after the data analysis oh. we just discussed. And the more time spent online, the more data platforms collect, further fueling the oh. algorithm. Should I do it chat? Should I have a subway surf under my webcam right here? ...that shape what is seen and how it is seen. Mukbang. It involves people obsessed with watching videos where individuals eat large amounts of food or binge. This type of content has become particularly popular on social media with videos attracting. How is that brain rot though? I don't think Mugbang is brain rot. I think you just add anything as brain rot. millions of views. For some people, watching these videos can become an obsession, leading to excessive and uncontrolled consumption of food or distorted attitudes towards new. What the fuck? There's no way someone would get off of school and be like, oh my god, now it's time to go mu watch Mugbang videos. Nutrition and the body. Looks maxing. Looks maxing is a term used to describe. Bro, you have Minecraft sometimes on your shorts? Yeah, bro, you gotta play the game right, bro. Describe a person's I, I effort. Gotta, I gotta get your attention, bro. I have to, to enhance to their game physical game. appearance. Oh, it yeah. is notable in the body. Looks maxing. Oh my god. Looks maxing this is one. a term used to describe a person's efforts to enhance their physical appearance. It is notably prevalent within the incel community, where it refers to various techniques employed by incels to attain what they perceive as an attractive appearance. An incel, typically a heterosexual male, is someone who desires a romantic or sexual partner, but is unable to find one, often attributing their celibacy to external factors. The term <laughs> maxing is derived from the gaming concept of min maxing, which involves players maximizing one aspect of their character the expense of others other max i don't think okay i don't think looks maxing is bad it's just like the idea of looks maxing is actually good like try to improve every aspect of your body or like everything right i feel like it's good because I we already do it in real like in video games we try to get everything as leveled up elder ring you spend millions of hours not millions but thousands of hours to get your max the stats maxed out, so. Maxing terms include social maxing, focusing on improving social skills, and money maxing, aimed at enhancing financial status. Less extreme forms of looks maxing, sometimes called soft maxing, include changes in diet, regular exercise, supplement usage, and adopting- I think one of the best brain rot, con like brain rot words are, a looks maxing for sure. Cause I genuinely love it. I love the idea. I I'll, okay, I'll let you guys call me brain rot for doing looks maxing. What about that? Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity oh Toilet god. is a machinima web series of oh YouTube videos god. and shorts created by Alexei Gerasimov. Oh my god. Yeah, Alex. Oh my fucking. I'm not even joking. Yo, can we have an Alexei Gerasimov live execution, bro? Please. 
which is a form of animation created using video game engines. The series follows a fictional war between human-headed toilets and humanoid characters with electronic devices for heads. Skibidi Toilet's popularity is mainly being driven by children under the age of 13, and it's- 13? That's too old, bro! They're, they can't be more than seven! They're all under seven, bro! It's the first meme that members of Gen Z are lamenting not understanding because they're too old. The majority- Yes, bro! I swear to God! A skibbity toilet literally made me feel like I'm old. That's why I'm watching this video because, bro, yo, I'm I, like, 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 bro, call me Unk, bro. The majority of skibbity toilet fans are young, and when combined with the show's unsettling aesthetics and violence, this makes it perfect fodder for a new moral panic over how the internet is poisoning children's brains. A lot of parents have documented their kids becoming obsessed with skibbity toilet, often displaying upset or anger when restricted oh or banned fucking God. And from watching it, oh or even mimicking God. the behavior. Imagine you're working so hard to have a kid and you have a kid and your kid is obsessed with a skibbity toilet. Behavior of the skibbity toilets. Oh my god. Oh my god. Russian authorities are reportedly investigating the series. Yo, this is actually sad. I don't even know like what to say. So we took the class, now it's time to do the quest, all right? Who is the king of Costco chicken bake? Oh my god. Big Justice! Oh yeah, I remember Big Justice. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Who is this? <laughs> Kai Sanat? Phantom Drusky. <laughs> what the fuck? Kai Sanat, King of Rats. Fill in the blank with the correct 2024 word. He pulls all the red, all the girls. He pulls all the girls and with his res, bro. With his res, for sure. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Right now we're three out of three. I'm gonna be honest, we're doing good. What is universally known as the worst U.S. state? Come on, is that even a question? Ohio, bro. Ohio, for sure. What's the term for use? What's the term for someone who's good at getting women and their numbers? Ooh, wrestler. Come on now. Come on now. Fill in the blank. Dang, look at this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yo, what the fuck? Who is this? Skibbity toilet, of course. What is he saying here? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think people talking about this enough. That what's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Is the worst brain rod word ever after skibbity, bro. Because I just saw people do it in real life. Grown ass man like KSI and Sideman. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Bro, you guys are grown ass man pushing 30 doing this shit. What is wrong with you guys? And I see people use it in real life terms. Whoa, 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 whoa. And these people are able to vote. Uh, it's cooked. What is it called when someone takes a big bite out of your food? Phantom tax. <laughs> What's a good tongue poster called? Come on, mewing. That's easy. What's the term for someone higher than an alpha? Sigma. Am I sigma? Yes or no? <laughs> All right. And what is the name of purple McDonald's drink? Grimace shake. Oh my. Your brain is cooked. Um, chat. Am I cooked or no? I mean, the, the test says I got 12 out of 12. Uh, by the way, just to remind you, I'm 20 years old, pushing 30. Um, yeah. I'm damn to be honest, that's the first ever quiz I got it right. I went to school for like 19 years. No, what I'm saying, I'm cooked. Yeah, see, I can't like, I went to school for so long time and I didn't even get like a full out of full like quiz. So that was the first ever time. Yeah, that's crazy. I know, it is crazy.